Hello, we are friends on a session about direct query for Azure Analysis Services and Power BI dataset. This feature is already around for almost a year, but has with October 21 gained improvements. We are going to see what are these. In a most common situation, the data, in our case from Microsoft Dynamics, are pulled to data warehouse where the data transformation happens. Analysis services is used as a business or semantic layer to display this information for a critical tool like Excel and Power BI. And there is a live connection between the analysis services engine and the analytical tools. Now, when we change the connection from live to direct query, what happens is that the model that we have in analysis services is actually copied to a local Power BI report, which means in terms of the model in BFO Dynamics data warehouse, we have 12 application area, almost 50 transactional table, many dimensional table and over 2000 measures. So this is copied from analysis services to local Power BI file, where as this is then a direct query type connection, we can extend the model with any other data source. So this was already available since December last year. However, now the solution has improved in performance, especially because of some of the process taken care in the local PC, some of the processes uh, happening on the server. Plus, what is really very cool is you can select which table you want to take from the model so you don't have to take all 180 tables from the model, but maybe just a few. So this is something called a composite model where you can join a corporate, personal and any other BI source. Let's have a look in real terms how it looks. So what we have here is a Power BI live connection to analysis services model. Here we can see this is in Azure, connecting to a database containing 130 dimensional and 50, almost 50 transactional table. So uh, in this default connection is live. Connection type is live, so we can change the connection from here or from here. And what we are going to get is a security alert saying, okay, you know, first you're doing the change to the connection. It's going to bring this model to the local Power BI file. This process takes 10, 15 seconds. And now add any data that we want from any Power BI source, 120 sources connectors are available now. So what we have already done is in here we have extended the standard model with you see a source from the web where we have added weather report for London and embedded this information in our business overview. So if we look into the weather report. So this is what you can get from uh, uh, this report here. It's not just we can display these visuals, but we can also cross join or you know the, do the analysis. Uh, and this is one really nice example where we are looking into the correlation between the need cells and the weather information, temperature, sunshine hours, and rainfall. This is shown here that obviously furniture is well correlated with the temperature, which means high temperature means good sales, while hardware, software, and sports sport, we could say the opposite. So let's, let's just check if we select furniture, we can really see that our correlation is very high with the sunshine and the temperature while if we look into the sport obviously it's when it rains no one is buying sports equipment 
just with one word you have really really a lot of opportunities how to join what Microsoft says in this composite model corporate sources which is uh, heavy with the uh, information and strict how the changes are done and the changes uh, are done on the BI server with uh, any data source that uh, Power BI supports. There is one important aspect of this feature that we can connect to selected tables only. Now here is the trick. If I connect to analysis services then by default Power BI will connect live and give me all 180 dimensional transaction table which I don't want and delete them later. So I force Power BI to start in a composite model which means I force because I enter a table so if I now connect to analysis services you see it's giving me a direct query option okay let me just select also a database and I'm going directly to direct query so an interface will open asking me hey which tables you want to add to the model and I want to add into the model only some tables because I don't want to have all so let me just go for sales values this is everything posted in the sales then instead of selecting table I prefer to select uh, a name because I know I'll get it faster customer name I'm selecting bill to customer and then what I need to do is date current you see I'm selecting a very unique value in a day dimension to get me the date otherwise if I write date it happens so many times company short name to select company and maybe add location by adding location code and I will add this later submit and now my model will be very lean okay potentially yes I'm aware what I'm doing it it will have only five or six tables where I'm focused on doing my analysis here. So the model is absolutely the same as the one on the server because it has been copied from. It just makes it navigation usage much easier because only those fields which are uh, those tables uh, which we selected are available here. What we can see here that live connection file is small. It would have say or even kilobytes. So the rest are Power BI visuals in this case. And we move the model from analysis services from the Azure to the local file. Suddenly the file grows for one and a half megabyte. And when we add Power BI uh, visuals, then this file is 2.5 megabytes. So the difference between the like connection and direct query is the model being fetched from the server to a local file to enable modeling. Thank you for watching. Enjoy BI.